Good afternoon, everybody. Sorry, my voice is a little hoarse. But uh, we thank you so much for joining us in this very busy season in May for our spring band orchestra concert and awards. We are <clears throat> so happy you're here supporting these wonderful students before us, and we hope you enjoy today's program. Um, I do want to just remind everybody now while I'm thinking of it, uh, if you are a uh, future 2024-2025 uh, school year uh, band student, we are going to have an informational meeting following this concert. It should be about 5.30, so I just wanted to remind you guys now before I got uh, too far into it. <clears throat> But our Stardusters will be bringing you uh, four songs today. Our first one will be entitled Stardust, our namesake. Uh, second tune will be All of Me. Third tune will be Perfidia. And then uh, Downtown Tango. And then we're going to close our program for Stardusters <clears throat> with On Broadway. Thank you. So we hope you enjoy uh, Stardusters. That one featured two soloists, Don Taylor on trumpet and Audrey Simon on alto saxophone. Give him a hand. <laughs> Next up, All of Me. Not the John Legend one, but the jazz standard. Uh, this one will feature a duet of Nolani and Sierra on the, on the flute. Hope you enjoy.
very much. Next up will be Perfidia. <clears throat> this will feature another flute soloist. This will be Charlie playing the flute solo on this one. <clears throat> I also do want to give a uh, shout out to a few additional um, adults that have helped uh, make <clears throat> Stardusters work this year. Uh, we have uh, Kathy Hill on piano and uh, Ben Weaver filling in one of the saxophone parts. So thank you to those folks for making things happen today. And Perfidia. Next up will be a tune called Downtown Tango, <coughs> featuring four solos. We've got Malia Tway, Austin Basinger, Audrey Simon, and Don Taylor. Those will be our soloists on this one.
All right, we're going <clears> to <throat> move along to a few uh, jazz-related awards. Throughout the program today, each uh, subgroup is going to be giving some of these out. So first one up is uh, jazz. We have two uh, Woody Herman Awards, and we have one uh, Louis Armstrong Award to give today. <clears throat> as, as you all know, you're the uh, caregivers of these folks. They put in uh, so much time doing all their various activities, and um, they do their absolute best to do all of them at, at a high level, so we're, we're very appreciative of that. This particular uh, senior class, and no, I don't say it every year, is a, a very special group of kids, so it made selecting all these awards um, painstaking, and uh, we just wish we could give all of them um, awards. They're all certainly deserving, and we're very grateful for them. But. We cannot, unfortunately. So uh, our two Woody Herman Award winners, uh, great students and reliable uh, jazz members of the years, are Charlie Morgan and Don Taylor. Please stand. And then the top honor given to a jazz band member each year is, as I mentioned earlier, the Louis Armstrong Award, famous jazz trumpet player. And uh, this person, some people just have um, jazz style, jazz music uh, in their blood. It kind of comes very naturally to them. Um, I feel like this person uh, enjoyed playing jazz music uh, as I do and many, many of us do up here. <clears throat> so th this one was a pretty clear and easy distinction for us. She's been a great member over the years. We're uh, so proud to announce Audrey Simon as our uh, award winner. Close out with one more <clears throat> on Broadway, and this will feature Don Taylor on a trumpet solo. Ah, there we go. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to stall for time as uh, some student shuffling goes around. Uh, the group that's about to perform over here on stage left 
is the Select Strings Ensemble. Uh, Select Strings has been out and about in the community. Uh, this year we performed at a, um, a brain tumor research charity, um, charity event. We've uh, played at the art show, and tomorrow they are going to play for the fifth graders in the fifth grade strengths concert right here tomorrow. Um, so this group has been busy, um, and so they've got a few songs up their sleeves. Um, the first being a medley of the best of Queen, the second being um, Final Countdown, and the third being titled Secret Agent, which while not officially the music of a certain franchise, you can certainly tell is a heavily inspired and copyright trimmed off version of that music. So hopefully I've stalled long enough and given them enough time. Nope, looks like they're still figuring things out. So I will continue to point out, if you notice, uh, a couple of them, or at least were, in uh, Stardusters jackets. We have uh, Sophia Hart and Skylar Price, both, um, both um, playing multiple different instruments tonight, bass and violin, and they play jazz, and they play in select, and they play in orchestra. You'll notice that theme. There are other kids tonight who are also bouncing from group to group to group. Now they look ready.
Okay. Um, go ahead and go back, guys. All right, and now I stall for time for a moment as uh, they all find their spots in the big orchestra. Don't forget your bow. Huh? Uh, yeah, that's fine. All right. So uh, the songs we have lined up for you uh, here in the full orchestra, uh, the first is The Ground, um, which I thought for a second we wouldn't get the chance to uh, have played, because um, it is the choir and orchestra uh, piece that we brought to New York City. Um, and we don't have a choir with us today, obviously. Uh, there's no choir risers back there. There's percussion equipment. But Mrs. Rollins did uh, helpfully come and volunteer-ish uh, or at least responded to the call when I asked her to play the piano part, which is oh so critical for the piece to work. So uh, many thanks uh, for her coming by for the piano part. Um, and then while I am up here, I would like to handle the National Orchestra Award, um, which is the award given to the senior top uh, strings player. It's given to an anchor of our first violin sections who has been for four years extraordinarily dependable, reliable, musical, and also isn't here tonight. Uh, so Susanna Haupt, I don't actually have the award out, um, but Susanna Haupt is our winner of the National Orchestra Award today. And I would like to give her a round of applause. Um, I, I believe this is the first concert she's ever missed. Um, and unfortunately and sadly, it is her last one. Uh, but she does deserve the award. She's done a fantastic job for us. And we will miss her tonight, uh, big time. All right, this is The Ground.
gorgeous, gorgeous piece with that piano part. And um, I'll admit I didn't pick that one. Mrs. Rollins brought that one to my attention for the New York trip, and it was, I thought, a fantastic choice. Um, these kids rose to a really big challenge with that piece. That piece gets high, up in pitch. It is um, some weird, difficult key signatures, and we nailed it. This next piece is another piece we picked for the New York trip. I thought it would sound particularly beautiful in the cathedral, straight out of Fan of the Opera, its music of the night, um, which does involve, and many thanks to Skylar Price again, who designed and 3D printed instrument mutes for the use of this uh, song, uh, which is uh, pretty dang cool if you ask me. I didn't have to put in a purchase order. Um, and uh, guys, do please make sure they get back in the box. I found way too many on the floor today. All right, music of the night.
this song <clears throat> we did last year for competition, um, and the seniors enjoyed it so much. This was their selected senior song that they got to pull back one song that they had played some point in their career for one final play at one final concert. The song is called Night Errant. We did a great job of it last year, and I think we're doing a great job of it this year. last piece is a fun one. If you uh, looked at the program, it's got the title Curse of the Rosin Eating Zombie from Outer Space, um, which is an incredibly goofy title that I thoroughly enjoy because I'm an incredibly goofy person. But uh, more, more accurately, this, this song lets us play with all of those spooky, creepy, weird harmonies and sounds you hear string players do all the time in film soundtracks and whatnot. Um, that doesn't often show up in school literature, which is kind of a shame because horror movies are fun. Um, and so um, we get to kind of play our own little, little film score here with this movie. Um, so I think everyone's ready. So we're going to do Curse of the Rosin Eating Zombies.
Kenneth Ash, our zombie, and Audrey Fiesel, our victim. Yeah. All right. Um, also, a big thank you for the um, principals for not freaking out when we rehearsed this song. Um, seniors, if we can have you all line up up front, orchestra, if we could just slip out and go around back, it is time for senior recognition. All right, as we transition, thanks for your patience as we do so. <clears throat> we do want to make a few acknowledgments and thank yous. So, first of all, uh, our telecom department, led by John, John Mullins and his crew, are very busy this time of year, so we appreciate them taking their time out of their afternoon to come uh, film this event, so we have an archive of it for the future. They do a great job, and we certainly appreciate that. Give them a round. And <clears throat> next, we, we want to take a moment and acknowledge all of you as the um, caregivers, parents, guardians, grandparents, whatever it may be. You play an extremely important role in making sure that they have what they need to be successful in school, ex successful in, in their music programs, and in all of their other activities that they do. So you, you guys are the true superheroes and the ones that, that truly uh, allow us to um, make music with them. So we could not do without you and we're so grateful that that cannot go unspoken. And yes, please. We, we also have a handful of, of parents, aside from raising their own kids and doing a fine job at it, they also go up above and beyond and help us through volunteerism or sharing their skill with us. You know, maybe they're a good um, sewer or so many different examples that we, uh, that we benefit from. Um, uh, volunteerism from our, our parents and families is really what makes us go around, makes the village work, as they say. So to the, all those that volunteer and give above and beyond of their time and effort and energy, we are very grateful and we do appreciate that. Let's give that a round of applause, please. And then um, this one, it's a thank you and uh, somewhat of a sad goodbye, I guess you could, it, you could call it. Um, we have a, a wonderful administrator in um, Carol Bebout that is with us that just um, goes above and beyond, to put it mildly, um, just uh, does what, um, they don't make administrators like uh, Carol Bebout anymore, and um, there are a few exceptions, of course, but uh, she, she is a great friend of the music department and truly shows that she cares consistently and um, asks us what we need, asks us um, how, the, how she can help the music department. So, um, Carol, are, are you, I know you're here. Are you out in the audience somewhere? Let's all uh, celebrate <laughs> Carol Bebop. So we're, we're so grateful that she has kind of adopted us the, the whole community, to be honest, the Marion community as her second family. And um, she's got a, a family out east that I, I know uh, loves her and, and misses her as well when she's not here. So we uh, certainly understand, but are very grateful. Moving on to our next item, uh, we have many students that were awarded uh, letters and pins for um, their work in the music department. Um, Mrs. Rollins, it's seven semesters. Uh, seven semesters earns you a letter, and then every, se every seven semesters beyond that earns you an, a, pin, a pin or an additional pin. So many of these have been distributed at the concert last weekend, but we have a handful that have not. Um, I'm gonna save my voice here and pass it off to Mr. Weaver, and he's gonna uh, read some names off here. Please stand once you're recognized. Thank you. So these are the students that um, earned their band or orchestra letter. So if these students would please stand to be recognized and remain standing until I've read all the names. Uh, Oliver Hoard, 
Jacob Adams, Jonathan Gomez Richards, David Hansen, Nayeli Loiza, Reagan Tway, Kenneth Ash, Noah Burt, Ainsley Butler, Matthew Stover, Julian Worcester. And these are students that earned their letter for the first time. Elijah Bear, Kylie Holman, Charlene Numadu, Dylan Lumpkins, Sophia Hart City, uh, Lillian McGill, Sierra Sturm, Mackenzie Van Gundy, who we just had a little uh, custody battle over. Austin Basinger, Evan Burt, David Edwards, Nolani Holden, Alexander Lushetsky, Charlie Morgan, Theo Meek, Mia Navarro, Carter Rollins, Athena Saylor, Audrey Simon, Don Taylor, Kylie Walter, Carter Weibling, Cameron Williams, Ebony Harding, Addison Holsinger, Jack McCreary, Brendan Morgan, Elizabeth Rymars, Brady Siebold, Dylan Stage, Maria Tway, Jordi Lopez, Abigail Hankey, and Asher Zell. Another round of applause for all these students. And you guys can have a seat. Thank you very much. All right. So uh, now we'd like to recognize our fabulous seniors that are up here before us. Um, as Mr. Hartman mentioned earlier, uh, this is an especially great, special group of kids that um, have given so much to this program and have really led the way this year. Uh, so we'd like to read each of their names and uh, their plans for next year. So uh, our first senior is Austin Basinger. After graduation, Austin plans to attend Kent State University for animation and game design. Very cool. Thank you, Austin. Our next senior is Evan Burt. Evan plans to attend Ashland University for political science next year. Thank you, Evan. Our next senior is David Edwards. David is planning to attend Wright State University next year. Thank you, David. Noelani Holden. Noelani's plans after graduation are to attend Coastal Carolina University and major in early childhood education. Many great teachers. Thank you, Noelani. Our next senior is Oliver Horde. After graduation, Oliver plans to attend art school for a degree in graphic design. Seth Kraus is our next senior. Seth. Next year, Seth is planning to attend Ohio Wesleyan University to study English creative writing. Our next senior is Alexander Lushetsky. Uh, Alexander plans to attend Purdue University and major in integrated business and engineering. Our next senior is Charlie Morgan. And Charlie's plans next year are to attend Bowling Green State University and major in forensic examination. Very good. 
Next senior is Mia Navarro. Mia plans to attend the Ohio State, the Ohio State University, and major in biochem next year. Our next senior is Carter Rollins. Carter's plans next year are to attend Otterbein University to pursue, pursue a Bachelor of Fine Arts in Musical Theater. Our next senior is Nathaniel Ross. As we know him, Nate Ross. Nate's plans next year are to attend trade school and get a job in the construction business. Our next senior is Athena Saylor. Next year, Athena plans to uh, find herself through music and Mark's crazy eyed Rufus speech. Oh, excuse me, photography. I, excuse me, I read the wrong thing. That is her favorite memory. Favorite memory, I apologize. Next year, Athena is planning uh, to do work in photography. Thank you, Athena. Our next senior is Audrey Simon. Audrey's plans next year are to attend Bowling Green State University to major in sociology. Next senior is Devin Summers. Devin Summers' plans next year are uh, MTC for radiologic technology. Our next senior is Dawn Taylor. Dawn's plans next year are to major in music performance at Bowling Green State University. Our next senior is Kylan Walter. Kylan's plans next year are to attend Bowling Green State University and to get a degree in early childhood education. Our next senior is Carter Weibling. Carter's plans next year are to attend Ashland University and study political economics. And last but not least, our next senior is Cameron Williams. Cameron's plans next year are to attend Cedarville University and major in exercise science. How about another big round of applause for all of our outstanding seniors? Seniors, thank you so much. Seniors, you can uh, find your seats here, and we will get started into our. Yeah.
Uh, so the first piece we just played is a piece called Foundry uh, by the Ohio native composer John Mackey. Um, as you might have guessed, uh, it is similar to uh, the sounds you might hear in an iron foundry where they cast metals. Um, that's also a piece that uses what we call found percussion, which is exactly what it sounds like. Uh, instruments that we play that we've just found lying around. So it actually is a um, more modern style of music, um, but if you heard in the back a lot of uh, metallic sounds clanging and metal bowls, and um, it's a really unique piece. Um, it's one of my favorites that we've done this year, so uh, really pleased with how they perform that just now. Uh, this next piece is entirely different. Uh, this next one is called Sentimentali by Satoshi Yagasawa. Uh, it's a Japanese composer. Uh, and this is a very lyrical, emotional piece. As you can't guess from the name, Sentimentale. So please enjoy our next word. Our next song, <coughs> excuse me, will be a uh, medley from Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest. Thank you. 
So uh, part of what we try to do in uh, education is to prepare our students for the future. Um, if our students were to, uh, which we hope they do, continue on with music ensembles post high school, <clears throat> um, they will sometimes be asked to whip together a song pretty quickly. Uh, that was an example of that. We uh, picked that one up last week after uh, OMEA contest and whipped that up this week. So an example of preparing them for uh, real world um, experiences here down the road. So, Next up is a tune that uh, features the saxophone section. We've got a, a great bunch of uh, senior saxophones this year, so uh, they're up here along with uh, some of their underclassmen friends, and um, they've been great, so th this, uh, a piece named Saxational seemed to be a good fit for us this year, so we hope you enjoy Saxational.
All right. Next up, we're going to uh, uh, send out our awards here for our special uh, seniors that have gone above and beyond to so earn some of these. Like I said, it's a uh, special, very special group of seniors who we will dearly miss. It's been a wonderful uh, past seven years uh, working with you guys, many since uh, middle school. Um, just uh, thinking through so many memories, there's too many that I could think of to, to list right now, but we all, we all know them, we all share them, and that's what um, makes this moment in time special for us all. So, three awards um, will be given today for our seniors. We have our Patrick Gilmore Award, we have our John Philip Sousa Award, and then we will also be uh, recognizing our All Music Department honoree. So, uh, if these students could come forward to receive your awards for your wonderful contributions to the band program here. The Patrick Gilmore winter winner belongs to Alexander Leshevsky. Come on. Our John Philip Souza award winner belongs to Noani Holden. And then our all department honor, which was also announced last week at the choir concert. This is somebody who <clears throat> traditionally is uh, chosen from someone who um, triples in band, choir, and orchestra. This, uh, this person did that and uh, is also a um, six-year member of the uh, marching band. We have a handful of five-year members, but uh, this person is a six-year member. We're so proud of and uh, are happy to announce Carter Rollins as a member. <laughs> He got his thing last week. We love to see um, we, we we love to see students continuing on with music post high school, but um, it's uh, it's real special when we see that they've chosen music as a uh, career moving forward into the next stage. So Carter, thanks for keeping music alive, and uh, we appreciate you and all all of our seniors. Let's give one big round of applause for our senior award winner. And now we are going to uh, close our portion of the program. Um, but before we do that, <clears throat> just a few reminders here. Uh, number one, we will be conducting an informational meeting for uh, the 2024-2025 uh, season uh, pertaining to uh, marching band. We'll get you calendars, forms, uh, that sort of thing. So uh, please plan on attending um, if you're at all able following this concert. Um, there is a uh, final exam period that high school students are expected to be at. That'll be the 22nd. Um, we will, during that time, be running a class and running our uh, drum major auditions for next year. Um, other things, graduation, uh, 2 p.m. and 1 o'clock report time um, at the Grant Stadium um, for, for that. Uh, we will not be participating in this year's uh, Memorial Day ceremony, so you don't need to mark your calendar or anything like that for Memorial Day. There still will be a ceremony, but we will not be participating this year. All right, we're going to close our program with a tune entitled Trail of Tears. It's a very moving work that uh, brings light to the uh, American tragedy of the Trail of Tears and uh, just tells a depiction of that story through what we call a tone poem in, in music. So we really hope you enjoy Trail of Tears.